You've heard bad things from a lot of people. Inequality is bad. Economists actually think some inequality is good and necessary for a productive society. Inequality is your measure of incentives. If you have zero uh, inequality, well, there's no incentive for anybody to, to produce things. And at one point, that was sort of a socialist ideal. And we know that that doesn't work too, too well. The alternative, the equivalent of the winner-take-all, is an economy where there are a few billionaires, millionaires, getting lots and lots of money and everybody else struggling. What we're looking for in an economy is, is an optimal amount of inequality. You know, optimize means that it's the economy that's making the best use of its resources because everybody is working hard. I decided to run an experiment to, to test the notion that indeed you get more uh, output from, from a group of people if they are paid with a middling level of inequality rather than that you have extreme inequality or no inequality. So, so we put groups of people, six people together, and th they would solve mazes. First, we let them do a little bit of uh, maze solving so they learned how good they were. So I'd go into this knowing I'm pretty good at solving mazes or I'm not so good at solving mazes. We then offered the three forms of inequality incentives. In one case, we said, doesn't matter how many mazes you solve, everybody's going to get $5 for sitting here and solving mazes. You can imagine what the production of mazes were. Very few mazes got solved. People weren't trying. We then did the winner-take-all maze thing. We said, OK, one guy gets $30, I think it was, and everybody else gets $0. Well, the per people who knew from pr the previous parts of the experiment, they were very good. The one or two people, they would try very hard. Everybody else, the other four people of the, of the six, would go, well, I'm not that good. I'm not going to try very hard. We also got very low output for, in, defined by number of mazes solved by the group. We then went to the middling level of inequality, where if the third best maze solver beats out the fourth best, they get some more money. The fourth one gets more money if they beat out the fifth. The fifth gets more money if they beat out the last. Everybody had an incentive, and that produced the greatest number of mazes, which would be the greatest economic production. Inequality in the US has increased incredibly in, in recent years. And you can just look around. Have we been doing better as an economy? No, Wall Street crashed. We're having trouble getting back to full employment. We are having the maximum inequality in the sense of huge inequalities with, with a lot of money going to a very small number of people. So a lot of people are not getting the right uh, incentives. If you go back in US history, the founding fathers of our country were deeply concerned about inequality. They did not want us to have an aristocracy and a bunch of, of poor, poor people working in the country. And they believed the right, the right solution was that everybody should have their own plot of land and should therefore be an independent farmer. You know, Tom Jefferson, George Washington, all of them believe that. Nowadays, it's got to be that you have a share of your company because land is no longer the great productive asset. It's business capital. So I'm in favor of any kind of a, of a scheme or policy to, that extends this principle that everybody should be an owner, part owner of, the, of what happens from, the, from their, their work. And they shouldn't just be getting an hourly pay, uh, regardless of how they perform. If the company looks around and says, gee, we'll get everybody in this company working better if we share the profits among the whole workforce so that they get profit shares of profits of their companies. Hopefully, they have uh, some, some stocks that they may own in the companies. And it's so spreading the, the virtues of capitalism to more people, giving the incentives of capitalism to act to normal workers, not just to the billionaires at the top.